Hey guys and welcome back to a new quick video in which I want to talk about why I don't recommend using sealed classes for UI state, at least if you structure it like this. So let's say you have a social network app with a profile screen and a user profile could be either from the local user or from a remote user. And depending on what kind of user's profile you're on, you just have some differing properties in your state. So you can see on the one hand, we have some shared properties, like if we're loading the user's posts and the posts themselves, that's what we need to display for both the local and the remote user. But if we are on a remote user's profile, then we might additionally want to show whether we are following that user or not, but that is something we wouldn't want to show for the local user because we can follow ourselves. And the same way the local user might have some different state properties like um, whether they are updating their profile picture. That is something we of course can't do for remote users, but only for our own profile. So it might sound like a good way to structure your state like this, that you have a seed class, you have your shared properties that are common between all types of profile screens, and then you have different options depending on what type of screen you're on. And in the view model, this might then look like this. You have some kind of state, compose state, and let's say the initial state is our local user state. Looks clean, doesn't it? Yes, but only at the first glance. Let's now see what actually happens if we want to toggle whether we are following that user or not. That's something that is only doable on remote users' profiles. And because of that, we would first need to check if we are on a remote user's profile. So we need to check if our state is of instance profile state dot remote user. And then we need to copy that state to change the is following value to whatever we want to change it to. In this case, we want to toggle it. So what we need to do is we need to first of all check if our state is um, a local uh, a remote user state. So we try to cast it as a profile state remote user, which will return null if it's not a remote user, and otherwise it won't. Then we need a let block to get null safe access on this remote user or remote state instance. And then we can say we update our state. So we say uh, actually state is remote state dot copy and is following is equal to remote state is following negated. And if our state is a local user state, then this would return null. We would never jump inside of this let block and not do anything, which is exactly what we would expect in this scenario. So far, so good. But what happens now if you want to change, let's say, the is loading boolean, whether we're currently loading the posts or not. That's something that we would like to toggle on both of these types of screens, on local and remote user screens. So if we now have a function to toggle loading or so, then what I would expect is that we can just say state is equal to state copy is loading is equal to state is loading. But that doesn't work because our state function does not have a copy function. Why is that? Well, because our state is a sealed class and only data classes have this copy function implemented by default. So in order to change a shared property here, we would still need to check for the corresponding type. So what we would actually need is, we would need a when expression here, check what type of instance this state is actually of, and then say state.copy is loading. Oh, okay, there is actually no is loading value. Why is that? Well, because we did not pass these properties down to our remote user. So what we could do is we could make these open vals so we can override them in our subclasses. We could then go ahead in here, say override val is loading, which is initially false, and do the same for our posts, which is a list of posts, by default an empty list. We take this and do the same for the local user, and then we have our is loading boolean here, which we could toggle to state is loading. We then do the same here for our remote user, just the same code, because we can only have this copy function for actual data classes. And the state is not a data class, but the local and remote user itself is. But you notice that we still get an error here. It says smart cast to profile state local user is impossible because state is a mutable property that could have been changed by this time. What the heck does that mean? Well, normally with Kotlin, we have smart casting. So when we check for a certain type, then we, we know for sure that everything that follows here inside of that check, in that case, the type of our state instance must be a local user. But that does not work if our state is actually a global property inside of this class. Since there could be a multi-threading environment here, where the state property is changed after we make the check for a local user. So right before going inside of this copy call, 
the state could have already been changed to a remote user state, and then we wouldn't have this, this type safety anymore. If the state would be initialized in this function, that would all not be a problem, because then um, the IDE is smart enough to recognize that there are no threads in between that could change this uh, state. But if it's global, then there could be any other thread inside of this class that changes the state in between. That is why we need an additional type check here. So we would actually need to say state and cast that as a local user state again, have the lab block like before, and then say it.copy is loading is it dot is loading. And now we have another problem because the result of this could potentially be null if the cast fails. But our state instance actually expects a non-nullable value. So we could of course remove this question mark here, then that would get rid of the issue. But if our state would have been changed, then this code would crash because the, the cast would fail. So you can see how big of a pain it now becomes to update these simple shared properties of our state, which is why I absolutely can't recommend this approach. Another thing that is terrible about that is that we need to duplicate all these properties here for every single state, just in order to change these. Since in order to use the copy function with these properties, they just need to be part of the data class itself. So let's talk about a better alternative. In the end, we want an easy way to update the shared properties just by saying state is equal to state.copy. And we just want to need those typecasts if we're changing a property that is very specific to one of these types of users. So why don't we just establish that sealed hierarchy just for those individual properties. So we could have something like a sealed interface, profile details, for example, and we say, okay, we have a data class for local users where the individual property is, is updating profile picture that is of type profile details. And we have the same for remote users where the property is, is following. And now we can get rid of the state as it is here, make that a data class instead, we'll leave our shared properties, just normal properties of this data class, and then just have an additional details property here, which we could also set to some kind of default value here. So profile details, local, for example, and say, okay, initially we're not updating the profile picture. If we do it like that, and we want to toggle a shared property, we can very easily do this by just saying state is equal to state.copy. We now have the copy function since our state itself is now a data class. We say is loading is state is loading. That works perfectly fine. And if we want to toggle a specific property, we would need to take the details reference, cast that as a profile details.remote, and then get our details reference here and we say our actual state is equal to state.copy details is details.copy. And here we can then change the following to details that is following. Still a little bit annoying with these typecasts, but somehow we need to differentiate between our different screens if we model it like this. So now something like this is only needed when we want to change either the is updating profile picture or is following boolean or other ones if we would extend this. But not anymore for the common properties is loading and posts. That's at least one way to model this in a great way. Another approach would be just modeling the hierarchy with the view model itself. So you might have a profile view model, which is an abstract class, which has a state that only hosts those shared properties. And that just offers the functionality to fetch posts, to change the loading state. So basically just all the functionality and logic that is needed for both local and remote users profiles. And then you could have individual sub view models that inherit from this parent profile view model, one for the local screen and one for the remote screen, which only implements the, the functionality specific to each of these screens. That is also a very viable approach here. But please avoid these sealed class states, at least when the sealed class is the state instance itself. Having a sealed hierarchy inside of the state itself, like for the profile details, absolutely fine if these properties are actually individual for each single case. So I hope I could help someone here. If you want more such tips regarding UI building, regarding Jetpack Compose, then check out my free PDF down below where I talk about 20 really deadly mistakes you can make with Compose, which you're probably not even aware of. So click the link down below, download that PDF. And other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you back in the next one. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.